Can the delivery guy never find your house? Are your packages just showing up wherever and Amazon says they were delivered? Are you tired of your friends calling you saying they can't find your house? Well, we're gonna spray paint some numbers on the curb here to make sure that stops happening. It's gonna take us about 10 minutes, a couple cans of spray paint, stencil numbers, solve that problem real quick. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off by just putting one piece of tape down and we're gonna measure from here. So, we're gonna measure out 12 inches. About right there, it doesn't have to be exact. So we'll put this down flat. And we're gonna take another piece of tape and put it on the top and give a nice top line here. Make sure everything's nice and tight against the concrete there. And on this bottom part, we're gonna measure down five inches on each side. About right there. Like I said, doesn't have to be exact, just as long as you're within the uh, area. And then do the same over here. All right, so we got our box. Now we're gonna take some of this paper, just tape it to the edge here, to protect from any overspray. Take a piece of tape, go right over that last piece that you put down. And there you go. Just put a little piece on the bottom here to make sure that the wind doesn't blow it away. See? And then just do that all the way around. Now, if you guys are artistic, you can always add in stencils of like your favorite sports team, I know down here in Texas, you see a lot of Texas outlines on the side here. Same thing, same concept, just tape off that area and then you do the same thing with the stencil of the uh, thing that you want to put there. My wife and I couldn't decide whether to put a Packers or a Bears logo because she's a Bears fan, so we just went with the normal numbers. And you don't have to use this brown paper, you can use empty cardboard boxes from Amazon. trash bags, whatever you got laying around. Just want to protect from any overspray. All right, give them the can a good shake. Just gonna give it a little test spray. And then we'll just do short strokes across and just fill it in. Once you have a good base coat on there, just go ahead and just give it a nice once over. Make sure everything's covered. We're gonna let that dry for a couple minutes and then we're gonna put on the white. So make sure you put tape around the outside of the numbers. Wanna make sure that there's a nice layer of tape on the outside so that you can stick it to here. So we're just going to line it up with the center here and the center here, which is about right there make sure that they are all within the purple. Push that down. Make sure you got a good seal all around. There are some spots that are gonna stick up if your curb is curved in like this. If you have a flat curb, it should pretty much lay flat against it. But we're gonna go in short bursts and try and just get as push these down and get as close to the curb as we can. 
I'd recommend wearing gloves if you don't want to clean paint off your fingers. As I just remembered that I should probably be wearing gloves because I don't want to clean paint off my fingers. But, dem the brakes. So you just want short, light bursts, and then just push it down, do a nice light top coat, and it should be done. Yeah, I'm gonna wear gloves next time. All right, we're gonna give it a minute. Well, we've given it a minute to dry. This should dry fairly quick. So I'm just gonna peel the numbers off. is take a paper plate, paper cup, and spray some of the base coat into it, and then use a Q-tip to fill in some of these spots where there's overspray because of the curve. I like the look of it because it matches the other one, and it gives it kind of a, a unique look. So I'm leaving it, but it's entirely up to you. So the last step we're going to do is I'm going to just put a clear coat over the top, just to protect it, make it last a little bit longer. This one you just shake up and spray on. There we go. Hit that subscribe button and you'll see all the cool stuff we have coming up next.